need to find Lieutenant Anderson. Okay. Scan faces. Oh. I doubt that's Lieutenant Anderson. Oh. Oh, mismatch. Jimmy Peterson. He's the owner, of course, no criminal record. Born uh, January 2nd, 2001. I'm not sure what the order is there. I would say it's probably, yeah, that makes sense. January 2nd, 2001. Maybe. Derek Myers, security guard. None. Okay. Shit, I thought I had George Word allowed in here. That's what it said, but here I am. Edward Dempsey, an administrator. Jonah Graham, unemployed. Your problem. Don't Can we check this guy? No. Christopher Gray. Criminal record DUI. Wanna buy me a drink? Okay, this guy's face you can't really see. There he is. Police Lieutenant. Oh that's that actor. Okay. His name is escaping me right now, but I definitely... He's from Highlander. I definitely recognize... Oh definitely recognize that actor. This guy's just staring at us. Kim Johan. Delivery driver, currently unemployed. Domestic abuse. I don't know if I'd want this power. <laughs> Let's talk to him. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance, especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Uh, let's persist. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? <laughs> that's, that's the best retort I could think Never of. Never mind. Uh, he wasn't fond of that. Um, maybe understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. <laughs> Let's buy him another drink. Maybe you that'll help. I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. Maybe now we're speaking his language. Is he going to serve us, though? Jim wonders the technology. Make it a double. There we go. Do we drink too? It's kind of interesting to see how this world works. Oh. <sighs> Did you say homicide? His name is Clancy Brown, I think. The actor's name just came to me. A regular odd couple here. You wait here. I won't be wrong. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Fucking man, whatever I say. 
Conflicting orders selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. All right. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. So we're just going to ignore what he said and uh, follow him in. Sounds like a great idea. Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Okay, there we go. He's he's cool. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Uh, Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The lieutenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That when he found the bar. Let's see if there's anything out here. I see something inside. I, lo I love games that let you, like, search a crime scene. It's, uh, I don't know what it is, but I love this stuff. <laughs> Smell. It's even worse before we open the window. I don't want to miss anything. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, the state he's in. Not worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. No fingerprints, android involvement. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself a... Dried blood DNA analysis. Oh Carlos Ortiz. I'll be outside if you need me. Okay. Review evidence one to ten. Let's take a look at the crime scene here. It says I am alive. Okay. Oh, that red uh, powder again. Red ice. Aston Lithium. Right. We saw that. Um, that's what Todd was taking when we were playing as Kara. Can't take a look at the body, eh? Ugh, it's nasty. Looks like a pool of blood over here, also. Perfect. It's way too. Tried blood. Carlos Ortiz again. 19 days. You need no human rights like this. It's not stepping that. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Okay, can I. Is this Eden Club? Wait, did that say examine victim? Hold on. It does say examine victim. Oh, okay, now I can go yeah, over nice. there. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Man, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here in this crime scene. <laughs> Carlos Ortiz, five foot six, two hundred eighty-six pounds. 11.30 p.m. Red ice, okay. Probably high then, I guess. 
uh, stab wounds looks like. Eternal bleeding, 28 stab wounds. we 19 days ago, so that matches up. Wow. So I'm gonna get his hand. Theft and aggravated assault is his criminal record. Let's try to figure out what happened here. that victim fell here stabbed over there oh wow came from the kitchen He was stabbed. Yeah. Fell kind of trip. Yeah, fell there. Then he was pushed against the wall and stabbed multiple times. Oh my god. Wow. He was stabbed 28 times. That is nasty. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Consider it done, Lieutenant. That seems like a lot of passion for uh, for an android. Regular letters, font, Cyberlife Sans. Cyberlife, yeah. Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. So let's check the kitchen. Before I do that though, I just wanna see if there's anything over here. All right, let's go to the kitchen. Let's not trample on anything. And I don't, oh, there is something here. And then he went out the back, they said. And go out there afterwards. Blood. Carlos's blood. Check that door afterwards. I don't want to. Ah, uh, more blood there. I don't want to be forced to go outside yet. Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Mark Water and Nancy re-step out together. Okay, let's find out about that. The Eden Club. The result of our survey is in, and it's official. 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. And with 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of android love to go around. There were a few reasons given uh, for this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. This story was sponsored by Eden Club. Discretion is our middle name. Mm, seems a bit biased. Tech addict, is your android spying on you? Cyberlife could be using its androids to collect private information. Zero gravity subway to connect to NYC and DC in 45 minutes. Oh, I have no doubt that they would be using it to spy on people. Uh, more and more experts are suggesting that CyberLife uses its 120 million androids to record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trading partners. Ever talked about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner? CyberLife could use that information for targeted advertising. The information goldmine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretions to political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially used for nefarious purposes. The spate of reports linking Warren's presidency to Cyberlife only deepens such concerns. Several co consumer rights organizations have requested that Cyberlife disclose the information it gathers and who it sells that information to. 
The company has always refused requests for a formal inquiry. They've gone unanswered so far. I guess that's it. Let's see where the knife came from. Wait. Kind of see inside. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can look around. This is really cool. Gotta look up to you never know what we might see if we look up. Okay. Baseball bat. Don't worry. So it looks like it was used um, maybe in self-defense. Violent impact traces of Ethereum. Is that what was used to make the androids Ethereum? Would make sense. Charles Ortiz, yeah. The knife. TV took a knife. Oh, maybe he's just defending himself then. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. So, we'll... looks like Carlos attacked him first. Then he grabbed the knife to defend himself, but then... Why did he stab him so many times? still more. Fingerprints. Signs of struggle, yeah, makes sense. And there's one more thing. At the back door. Less than 60 minutes ago. Door was locked from the inside. Well, I must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Okay. Well, yeah, I was gonna say. Weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Didn't escape that way. What about the window that we saw? Is there anything over here? Oh, hello. Whoa, there's a bunch of letters in there. Obsessive writing. This looks like some random letters. RA9, actually not some random, it's just RA9 over and over and over again. Or RAG it could be. And a statue. Whoa. Huh. That is weird. RA9. I noticed we're RK8. Okay, we found all the evidence. I just want to take one more look at this window. I'm just gonna get in your way here. Nothing else. Okay, where did he go? right there. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? 
Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... Uh, in the bathroom. In the bathroom. I think you should look harder at the mess in the kitchen. I think that's where it all started. Oh, okay, I thought maybe it had something to do with the statue. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... Um... With the bat. With the bat. I thought maybe I found something right, in the bathroom. So the That's why I picked that. Go on. Uh, Android threw the chair. The android stabbed the victim. We didn't so see that. The android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... Um... The living room. There's the chair. He just knocked it over? And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. Uh, the knife. With the knife. See, something wants to set okay. this all off, though. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. Okay, okay. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. I bet you can still see it. It's can't a good you? thing you had us here. Correct. Yeah. Blue blood traces. Right. So I just wanted to explain why I picked the bathroom first because I thought maybe something in the bathroom with the uh, offering caused this whole thing to start. But uh, I guess I'm through. Oh, I see something already. Right, because he would have been bleeding from the damage the bat caused. So, let's see where it leads. Well, hold on. It doesn't go any other direction from here, but this could possibly be when he was chasing. A... Does it go this way? No. I don't see any to the right. So the trail just leads here. And then to the bathroom. Okay. Got this music. <laughs> to this offering. Uh, I can't examine that. Oh, okay, the wall. Check 
check something. Oh, those camera angles. Ah, oh, it's so creepy. Is he? Is it possible that they're still up here? No, no, it looks like there's a hole in the roof there. Oh, shit. Oh, God. It's not over yet. There's still more blood here, okay. They went this way. Oh, this is so creepy. Oh shit, something's moving. Let's go, let's go, let's go, go. Are you moving so slowly? What the hell? Is it it's, looks like it's glowing or something. Oh god! It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. I was just defending myself. Something went wrong. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shoot, we don't get to choose? Oh, shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Come on! Wow, I thought we'd get to choose at least. Man, that was intense. There's another outcome. It looks like. Huh. The other thing I noticed that I checked the graph uh, before too, and yeah, so under partners, first of all, it says 75% completed. It says public opinion skeptical. Software instability question mark. Hank neutral. Uh, which is interesting. Was it uh, Hank Anderson? Yeah, Connor and Hank arrive at the scene. So we missed a couple things uh, when we were talking to Hank. And then it looks like we missed something with the crime scene that would have taken us down another path. I wonder if we could have let him go then. Read Android Spy. Huh. 96%. So only 4% of the people went the other way. Very cool. Very cool. And I could see friends. Friend stats. 100%. <laughs> I have no friends. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. November, pit. November 5th, 2038. 9.14 p.m. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Sir food. Kara is back with Todd. All right, I'm going to wrap up this episode here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This is Luckless Love Lock signing off for now. See you on the next one. And I love you all.